Canon's EOS R3 is undoubtedly the most advanced mirrorless camera the company has ever produced. This camera features a brand new sensor, faster processing power, and impressive viewfinder along with other alluring specs. However, Sony has also made a huge upgrade to its flagship model that resulted in the new camera and segment, the A1. And this is also capable enough to shoot impressive photos and videos. So, we decided to put these two advanced cameras in a head-to-head -head comparison to find out which performs the best. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Let's start by talking about the sensors in these two cameras. Sony Alpha 1 is equipped with a full-frame 50.1 megapixel Exmor RS sensor. Even in low-light conditions, this sensor's back-illuminated construction allows you to capture stunning photos. In addition, the stack technology enables the sensor to provide a faster readout and an overall high-speed performance. Canon R3, on the other hand, comes with a 24 megapixel BSI full-frame stacked CMOS sensor. We believe Canon is more focused on speed with R3, so the sensor is lower in resolution. As a result of the lower resolution of full-stack sensors, the R3 would have even faster sensor readout speeds. Moreover, the R3 features a BSI design, meaning it will perform better in low-light conditions. Now, let's take a look at the sensor readout speed. According to DP Review, Sony A1 can shoot 8K 30fps with a readout speed of about 15.2 milliseconds. On the other hand, Canon R3 can perform up to 60fps of autofocus calculation and tracking, making it a breeze to track subjects that turn and change directions rapidly, such as ski racers or motorsport athletes. Sony's A1 is an excellent camera for stills. Thanks to its high-resolution sensor, it can capture images with adequate detail. In addition, the fast readout speed also makes it possible to capture photos without distortion. Besides, you can capture 30 frames per second with full autofocus and complete exposure with the fast Beyond's XR processor. Hence, it can not only be used for landscape photography, but also packs the capability to shoot sports and wildlife scenes. Nevertheless, you can also store 155 compressed raw images per burst on the camera's large buffer memory. In contrast, Canon R3's ISO range is broader, ranging from 100 to 102,400. This lets you shoot at higher ISO numbers without sacrificing image quality. It's also possible to shoot 14-bit raw files in lossless mode and compressed mode. When recording at 30 frames per second, the R3 can also record up to 540 JPGs and 150 raw files. In terms of video, Sony's Alpha 1 is capable of shooting 8K videos at 30 frames per second at 10-bit 4x2x0. They're all oversampled from 8.6K footage, so the quality remains quite high. However, you can shoot 4K videos at 60 frames per second if you'd like to shoot at 10-bit 4x2x2. Additionally, it can shoot slow motion videos at 120 frames per second in 4K. The heat dissipation technology also allows you to shoot at the highest resolution for up to an hour. As for the R3, it can shoot full-width videos in 6K RAW at 60 frames per second. You can also record oversampled 4K videos at 120fps with the camera to have more details in your footage. Also, the R3 will allow you to record 10-bit HDR footage with PQ Curve. In terms of autofocus, the Sony A1 comes with a hybrid autofocus system consisting of 759 phase detection points and 425 contrast detection areas, which cover about 92% of the frame. In addition, the Sony A1 delivers fast and accurate autofocus performance, just like Sony's other flagship cameras. Furthermore, the autofocus is efficient enough to detect subjects at exposures down to minus 6. Moreover, it's capable of autofocusing and calculating exposures 120 times in a second. As a result, the A1 is able to detect humans, birds, and other animals without much difficulty. The body and eye detect autofocus ensure that your subject is always in focus. It's also equipped with a 5-axis in-body image stabilization, which smooths out your footage up to 5.5 stops. On the other hand, 
the R3 uses the dual pixel CMOS 2 autofocus system, which offers incredible performance with 1053 face detection autofocus points spread across the entire sensor. As a result, the entire image sensor can be used as an autofocus sensor, making the whole process faster, more responsive, and more accurate. Thanks to the Digic X processor, the Canon is capable of 60 calculations per second. Canon also has multiple detection modes, including humans, birds, and vehicles, just like Sony. In addition, the R3 has a unique autofocus method called Eye Control Autofocus, which was first introduced by Sony. The electronic viewfinder of the R3 has 8 infrared sensors, which are capable of tracking your eyeball and adjusting the focus based on your staring. With its 5-axis in-body stabilization, the camera can offer smooth footage up to 8 stops when paired with optical image stabilization. Nevertheless, both the cameras feature with the sealed body, offering more protection for the cameras in dire situations. The Canon R3 features a 2700 mAh battery, which can take 860 shots with the LCD touchscreen and up to 620 with the electronic viewfinder per charge. Comparatively, the Sony A1 has an NPFC100 battery that can take 430 images or 90 minutes of video once fully charged. So, that was all about the comparison between Sony A1 and Canon EOS R3. Both the cameras resemble the pinnacle of camera technology and offer top-notch features for both stills and videos. So, which one do you find the most suitable for you? Let us know in the comment section.